It's devlog time again! I need to get a better intro because that's probably annoying. <laughs> Just starting a video and someone screaming into your ears. But, it's been... Uh... Two months? Like, I think... We're in September right now, aren't we? What's it say? Yeah, September. And the last video I did was, uh... July, I believe? And... In, like, July's video, I was still working on, uh... My um, other level, if I load it in, it's uh, still under test. <laughs> I actually haven't have not completed that level at all. It is still the same um, incomplete mess. Uh, I just kind of got frustrated at it because it's like it it just runs really poorly, and I have to like change a lot of things with like all my prefabs and stuff so it's like less draw calls and it'll just be super optimized because I'm getting really annoyed with it. I've definitely like added uh, a lot more things so like if you see this cube here um, they're on both sides so if you were to destroy the wall there'll be like this lovely uh, area to sneak around and kind of have a firefight so you could like sneak around here and then shoot him from this side, and it's got the cool VFX still. I don't think you guys ever actually got a good look at the VFX that I put in the secret corridors. It's like a bunch of cubes that are like whooshing around. Um, and it looks like really cool. Um, so this is the corridor not lit properly, so you can see it a bit better. It looks really cool when it's like, um, when the lighting's baked and you're like in here firing a gun. It looks so cool. Um, so I've kind of taken a break from this level for a bit and decided to work on an open world level. Because this level, as I said just earlier, has frustrated the crap out of me. Um, the materials don't light properly and Uni um, Uni <laughs> Unity's lighting system is stupid awful in certain situations so I just needed to do something else so I decided why don't I work on an open world area inspired by Halo like I even recreated one of Halo's pieces as well like I'm, I'll admit it that I have copied a bit of Halo <laughs> in my game like I didn't port any objects I went into Blender and through memory recreated one of the structures like, like, I created the, uh, 3D model in Blender, <laughs> in Blender, <laughs> from memory. <laughs> and I'm actually astonished that it turned out pretty decent. I tried creating, like, a flipped version of this, so you could have, like, two of the buildings next to each other, like a bridge. Um, Blender didn't flip it correctly, and everything was inverted, and, and, and it's all broken now. So, I can't work on this building anymore unless I do it from scratch again or something. Let's move on. So, basically, I've taken inspiration from Halo's levels, particularly uh, Halo CE. Um, as you can see, the structures look very familiar to what we're used to, but with like a slightly different shape. So, it's like these structures, you kind of... I need to move this down. It's not even touching the terrain <laughs> this is supposed to be a lot lower you, you you have like this area where you can run around there'll be like ammo around here and stuff um and uh and I'm, I'm planning to add like way more stuff in this open empty area i'm currently been working on the center area so i've been like adding rocks and uh, obstructions and stuff um this was probably like my time consuming thing because i had to make like I, I don't know what the word is to describe it, but like that centerpiece that everyone looks at kind of and I didn't want to make it the biggest thing like I wanted to make it big but not the tallest thing because like one thing that's funny about my uh, player controller is that you can climb anything it is not a joke and <laughs> and I'll show you after I've like done doing the tour but like it's kind of funny. So, uh, basically, I looked at some, like, Halo levels, and then kind of, in a way, recreated them, in a way, like, the architecture and stuff. So, you, so you, when you enter, you've got this, like, 
courtyard sort of thing where you can run through the middle or go to the left. You've got stairs to go up to another level, which then you can actually jump into the middle. I'm planning to add more stuff in here because this looks empty as heck. And it just needs more cover and like more things for this to be useful. Uh, I've currently just done more of the decorative stuff. I've added these cool as archway things as well. I've shown my friends and they definitely think this is like, this gives off like Halo 2 vibes. So I was like, I'm happy that it works. And like, you know what? I'll show you what this looks like in path tracing because <laughs> I am so happy I decided to add photo mode in my game. So you can just like look at the game and like what it would be if someone made like a CGI environment with ray tracing and stuff. And it just looks really cool. Um, a bit um, heavy on the purple, <laughs> but you know what? I'm happy with it. It's not too bad, especially like in gameplay. It's not going to um give you any problems I, I hope oh god i need to i'm having fps issues sometimes the game has problems with frame rate and photo mode i don't know what's causing it so a lot of the stuff i've added on oh my god i need to fix the occlusion calling oh also i made a water shader I followed um, one of the Unity tutorials and made a shader. I am planning to make it more advanced because it kind of looks dull, I guess. Um, doors. Doors do door things. Um, so, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, so yeah. Um, in mid-gameplay when you're like shooting. Oh my god! It clicked off. <laughs> Stupid game. I need to get better at programming. <laughs> uh, but like when you're like in the middle of gameplay and like shooting enemies and stuff. Um, you just... You won't get like too heavily distracted. I might turn down the purple a, a tad bit because it is a little bit bright. But like it it's not too bad. And like everything looks nice. Um, D this game in DXR looks pretty decent. Uh, recursive rendering makes the... Um, glass, like, refract differently. So, if you were to go to here, you can, like, see straight outside, no problem, right? You turn this on, and now you got, like, warping and stuff, and it's, like, super trippy, and I love it. Um, obviously, if ray tracing, terrain disappears and reflections, which is super annoying. But, you know what? It's alright. Um, I actually found a way to get around, uh... Go away stats. I found a way to get around the um, global illumination turning off of missives. I created a custom shader and um, just turned up the intensity of one of the values up. And so it's always lit no matter what. And because um, path tracing, when it sees something bright, it will scatter the light. So it's technically a light source as well, kind of. <laughs> Um, what else? I'm saying um a lot. Oh, funny thing I discovered a couple of days ago. Like, I built this a couple of weeks ago. And I only just realized that if you crouch, you can fit under here. So if you're like... Oh, Control S is not a good button combo when you're playing a game. Um, but like, if you're being like chased by enemies and you're like overwhelmed from this side, you can just sprint and then like crouch underneath oh that's a, that's the staircase oh i've clipped through the floor <laughs> you can like crouch underneath and escape how cool is that that was like unintentionally cool like some unintentional like, cool game designs like oh no i am st i am stuck i am cornered ah go through the gap yo the enemies can't follow you through that gap they will have to walk around <laughs> and then um, you can go up to like the second level so up here I was planning to put some sort of like um, pickup or something useful to the level that you can then have a reason to jump across to the top and like grab it maybe uh, something similar to like the power core room in the other level where there's like this moving floating object that draws the eye to maybe I'm not sure but there will be like something useful up here um, still planning on figuring what, figuring out what that will be. I was thinking of, like, some sort of, like, uh, level-based, 
controller thingy, like, um, that, like, changes the terrain or something, like, I don't know, destroys something, I don't know, I'm still planning on it, I'm, I'm wor I'm planning and working on it as I go, because I, I feel like I don't have the luxury to sit down and write some documents and then work on it, I have to, like, kind of do both at the same time, um, so the, there are three, um, levels in this, um, structure so you got ground floor you got the second floor and then you can go up even higher so you can then shoot out enemies from up here uh, I have fallen off the thing I'm not sure if I should add railings or not I think I like this style where there's like a bit more minimalistic compared to the other level I made uh, the other level I made um, other things I have added uh, so did water terrain I did um, Door, yeah, cool. I then started working on trees. And I, I, I looked at some, like, trees of, like, alien worlds and... What the hell's happening there? I just noticed that. I need to delete that now. Um, but I, I made some trees and stuff. And they don't look the best. But I tried to make them more, like, abstract -y -y. Um... So, I did, like, big elongated things with, um, leaf bushes on the edge. I created a shader for my grass, which I removed because of performance issues, um, that, um, moved the vertices of the, um, object. So, you can have, like, moving leaves now, and, um, and, yeah, it's pretty nice, and they're destructible, too. Watch this. Look at that. I think, wait, did I actually show you my trees in my last video? I don't know. But I also added rocks. They're also destroyable as well, which is nice. And I gave them like a really cool, interesting texture because I'm going for the whole alien world vibe. So it's not supposed to make sense to what we are used to as humans. So um, rocks with a cool crisscross texture with an iridescent like coating, you can say. Like I just set the material type to iridescent and it did this and I was like oh it looks cool <laughs> um, but there will be um, some more traditional looking rocks because imagine the terrain with these rocks up there uh, I could like change it right now as well just like to show you uh, okay materials well, let's go to C cliff rock if we switch this to standard to iridescent yeah <laughs> That don't look good at all. And I intentionally used bad language grammar there. Because just to emphasize how bad it looks. Um, I need I need to find a better texture. Because it tiles really easily. And I already reduced its world scale to like a quarter of its world scale. But like up close. It looks fantastic honestly. Like this is something out of modern um, games. Like you see in like AAA games and stuff. I, I got this from one of those... Um, texture websites like the cco websites so it's like completely free to use i was like oh this is some of the best looking um textures i've seen in a while honestly uh oh yeah i did mention that like you can climb literally anything in my game because of how jump is being handled so jump is handled so if you jump you can't jump again until um a trigger um touches the an object that's um labeled as like floor i think i just need to change it to like ground or something but so if you jump and then jump again it's perfectly fine you can't double jump in the air at all um but because of how it's um how i've done it if you're like right up against an object you can kind of just push yourself up if you just spam jump and th this rock is convex, so it's like these colliders aren't accurate to the actual object, and it's kind of like vague. Uh, but <laughs> you can kind of like climb, climb anything. You can climb up this uh, mountain, which I want to not be climbable, but I'll let players climb up here if they want to, because freedom of players, just let them do whatever the fuck they want. They already paid for the game. Let them enjoy it. <laughs> but like... You can climb up objects like, okay, see this? This is, this goes 
it extrudes outwards, so you would think like if you were to climb up this, it would stop you, right? But I'm just gonna climb it like I'm Spider-Man. I kind of unintentionally added like a wall climbing mechanic into my game. Uh, the enemies can't follow you if you do climb up here. Uh, so if the game breaks, it's entirely your fault. Uh, so you can climb any of these structures, including that one, even, um, but I've designed it in a way that it will be impossible to get onto the side unless you grenade jump onto the side and then start spamming A, I mean not A, like space or jump, so you can like go up to this and just kind of jump your way up, and this is about 60 degrees, no, I, I don't remember what the angle is because... I don't know. It's like, I think that was 15 degrees or something. I mean, wait, this would be 90, so 70 maybe? I don't know. I don't know the angles, but the angles get like even more shallower because that's a straight vertical uh, thing pretty much. That's almost 90 and you can just keep climbing up. And I also downloaded a Skybox pack from the Asset Store, which was free, and it was like 8k. I was like, oh, that would be nice. I'll compress the crap out of it. And then it just looks bad now. This is this is 2k. I, need, I think I need to put it back to like 4k um, texture, and then it'll look less compressed and ugly. Um, let's just keep climbing. This takes a while, by the way, and also you cannot bring your enemies up here, um, unless I spend some time figuring out a way, allowing enemies to actually spawn up here. So if you happen to go up here, enemies will spawn and then you will be screwed. But now you can like do some parkour up here if you want to just have a bit of fun. And it's perfectly flat too. Look at that. You can see the world, and that's... The water actually goes further than what you see, but my um, camera is only set to a thousand from where you are, so it will only see uh, a kilometer away. So see it? Oh no, I've fallen. But if you saw that I was moving this way, that the water continued to, you know, move. And I'll register some more. Uh, what else did I do? I did the L shape. Yeah, I talked about that. Do you want to actually see my grass? I'll show you my grass. What side do I spawn in? Okay, players here. I'll uh, click on terrain. I had to use the paint trees button. And here's some grass. 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 Here we go. This is my grass. I, I need to, oh, do you pass, the density is a little high, I need, I need to reduce that to like 40 or something, that'll be, it won't be as, it won't be this dense in the final build once I like optimize my settings, because you should be able to get like a good 60 even with the grass around, the only time you should ever see a FPS drop um, is when you turn on RTX, but like this, this is a bit too dense, but like this grass is using the same shade as I use for the leaves as well. Um, and it just looks really nice. It, it like, um, yeah, just, I, I, I can't describe it any better. It just looks really nice. It, it, it feels fluffy. Like, look at how fluffy it looks. It makes it, it like connects with the world. I, it's just so good looking. I spent like two weeks getting the grass right. I'm not kidding. It took two weeks. To get this to look right. <laughs> because this was the first time I ever did grass. And terrain didn't like... HDR... I mean, not... HDRP does not like the old school stuff with terrain. So you can't paint grass traditionally. You have to create an object. And then you have to, like... Do weird shit with it in, like, Blender and stuff. A and then you have to place it as a tree. So then you can paint it on the ground. And the worst bit is that if you go, go up to like something like this, okay, I've painted it now. 
because I optimize the crap out of the grass as much as I can, like, model-wise, if you were to paint up a mountainside, you, you're gonna get grass sticking out like this, and it just looks horrible. It's kind of the reason why I'm putting cliff rocks all over my thing, so I don't have to paint grass on it. I have uh, created an object where it's uh, one by one um, thing, so these are like five by five, so there's like 25 models mushed into one, so it's less draw calls and it just runs much nicer. Um, but there are like one by one things, so just one, and then you can like paint up the side of cliffs and stuff. But it's super heavy on performance and it's not great, so I just want to avoid using that as much as possible. So cliff rocks are like the way to go for avoiding grass on your mountains for me. Um, oh yeah, the water actually has physics, so I might put, I might gra grab some like objects here. Uh, prefab. Prefab. Here we go. I need to get a faster hard drive. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll get this tree. Okay, so this tree. And I'll get a rock. Not the cliff rocks. What's the space rock. We'll get one of these. I'll make it bigger. I don't think I mentioned this, but in like my... um. When I, um, I updated my destruction script, so if you make objects bigger, the destruct, the destroyed version will retain its size, and you have to, like, manually do your thing here. It'll automatically grab the thing when you press play. Um, so I kind of automated some of it, so I don't have to worry about that all the time, so rock, um, uh, oh yeah, and the destroyable, this one, I think this is the one that can be destroyed. Uh, boop. Yes, okay. So, uh, destroyable objects, I've added uh, physics to it. So, if I just do that, watch as it just floats on water. The leaves are VFX so that won't float. Look at how... <laughs> ah, it's so cool. The rocks won't float because they're heavy as hell. But, like, tree pieces will float around and you can, like, push it. Include, um, and the wall from, like, the alien ship will also be very light. And you can push that around. Rocks, um, rocks will always be heavy. I'm not changing that. You shouldn't be able to push a rock. Those things are going to be heavy as heck. So, pretty, um, so that's all I've done. Um, I am kind of planning to see if I can add, like, a time of day feature in but the game looks really like my level currently in this um in this lighting conditions it looks pretty good but like if i were to switch it around um so post processing uh, i've created a bunch of these um if you were to like switch to this and update your lighting everything looks a lot more monochrome in terms of like the metal structures and it just looks uh, not great like i'll redo the lighting just to prove a point like it, it'll probably adjust much nicer but don't expect it to look too good oh i should probably uh remove that directional light so we start getting orange but like i'll let the i'll let unity bake out the lighting it shouldn't take overly a an overly long time to do. I say that, but it's still calculating. Come on. I feel like this was a mistake. This is what happens when you run out of RAM. If you're gonna make games in Unity now, you need a lot of RAM, honestly. I don't know what they've done to the under the hood stuff, but it's like terribly optimized and it just doesn't run well anymore. And a lot of people have noticed this with like when you press save, the, the this just just the software just hangs and you have to like and you get a pop up saying wait wait for a bit and it's like you want to punch your screen at that point because then you can go make your coffee and by the time you come back it is still loading. Like, it has really slowed down game development. Oh, it's really annoying. 
what they've done under the hood. The, they've done, like, optimizers, so you can, like, hit play and play immediately. There's no waiting time for that. But then they have added way more waiting times in other areas. I think I need to make that way more grey. That is way too light. Yeah, I need to fix this. This needs to look a lot more grey. The rocks somehow look more grey than this. But they still look nice. Okay, what the heck is going on? 81%, okay. How about my VRAM? VRAM is like... Oh. VRAM is also maxed out. So that's what happens when Unity stops being optimized. I'm gonna cancel that, by the way. Um, and switch it back to what I had before. So, uh, Sunset? I think I did. I think I did sunset. Yeah, it was a sunsetty look. Uh, I'm gonna rebake this after the video because I just broke the lighting pretty much. And you can see how this is really bright now and white. But yeah, that's all the stuff I've done. I just started working on a new le a new level because the other one just annoyed the shit out of me because of, like so many problems um, with optimization and. Kind of started getting annoyed by the level design as well because I didn't do too much planning in it. This one I've done a bit more planning. Um, I'm unhappy with this. I think I might rotate this 90 degrees. Clicking on the play canvas. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna rotate uh, rotate this 90 degrees because then you can walk from um, this side through here into here. Uh, instead of needing to awkwardly walk around, and then I'll add some stuff here as well, so you can, like, walk around the outside as well, and see everything, but I'm gonna put that there, because I was supposed to do this 90 degrees, and then it'll work better. But, uh, I guess that's the end of my update video. I haven't done too much programming-wise. Uh, I've been wanting to go back into my photo mode and change the naming for the screenshots because I currently have it as screenshot plus integer so if you were to close the game come back and then take more screenshots it would replace your old screenshots and that, that's problematic <laughs> so I need to change it to like the Atf atlas framework plus current date or something and like current date and time because then how does Forza handle it? How does, like, other companies handle it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm gonna have to spend some time researching it so I can figure out the right, um, strings to add so it doesn't replace your old images if you close the game and reopen and take more images. Or even close the game, come back another day and take more images. And you don't want it to have it replaced. So, um, yeah, that's my update video. Uh... Structures, halo -y, inspirations, water, sa water shader, um, yeah, and rocks. Actually, do you want to see my rocks and um, ray tracing? <laughs> I'll show you my rocks and ray tracing. Um, so, path tracing, fun fact. Oh my god, it's doing the FPS thing again. Uh, this is what happens when you run out of RAM, like seriously. It's freaking annoying. Um, because this is supposed to run without a problem. Maybe if I turn this on. I'll just die even more. Okay. Gee, thanks. I need to buy like 32 gigs of RAM now. I need to upgrade to 32, not buy 32. Okay. Uh, what was I going to show again? Oh yeah, look at my rocks in RTX. Uh, look at that. Let's go here. Because the terrain will disappear. Come on. You got this. Should I open task manager just to see what's happening? Like, I'm recording. It, I feel like because I am recording that it's going to be even slower because there's like a lot more resources being used. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Okay. 
Okay, this is the best my computer wanna do wants to do, so I'm just gonna uh get out of play. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my god. I've like truly run out of memory. It is just frustrating, honestly. I can't you, you can't even upgrade video memory because it's sold, soldered on as well and I'm already on like 7 point whatever memory usage. God. Oh, it's 7.2. I didn't even read it. I'm a goddamn idiot. <laughs> Temperature's doing fine though. <laughs> yeah, I'll just end off the episode here. Uh, just realize I'm getting frustrated with my own hardware. I, mean, I really need to get like a real job so I can buy upgrades because... Clearly, I'm not gonna ever make money off YouTube or even my games for a long time. Uh, so, that was episode 5, I believe. Uh, I will see you guys in my next episode. Bye-bye. Uh, I think the girls with their nails done now.